Swordplay in films and games is very important. This even extends to lightsaber combat in Star Wars, as is a sci-fi representation of swordplay. As a representation, it should look near to it, as we give the right fill, along with the added benefit of lessening the trial and error needed to be done to get the choreography right, and in adding safety to the choreography. Here we see Rey practicing strikes, but she's using a reverse grip, and not any reverse grip, a two-handed reverse grip. A reverse grip is a form you use with dagger combat, not sword combat. First, reverse grip lessens your reach, and it drastically lessens your reach with two-handed reverse grip. To the point where someone can punch you before your blade can reach them. It is that limiting. Also, it is quite awkward. This awkwardness with a real sword messes up your edge alignment, which is not important for a lightsaber, as every side's the edge. But the awkwardness can still injure your wrist, and it can hurt quite some amount if done quickly. Also, Reverse grip with a lightsaber, as it is up against, can get up against your arm, could burn your arm, and a block could cause you to lose your forearm. That would be a great disadvantage. Here, Kylo is practicing a fight against two staff wielders. He raises the, his saber above his head and along with his sh shoulders, as it should be, but. If we look closer, both arms are straight. But isn't Kylo right-handed? With a block on that side, or any side, the right hand should be close to the guard, so his arm should be crossed. And we can see from the Force Awakens he is right-handed. Now looking closer, same Morozov. He's not even holding it properly with his left hand. If he was holding it left-handed, we would see the inside of his elbow and not that back of his elbow, but we see the back of it. Me, he's holding it both hands the same direction and up, meaning the heavy enough strike could knock the blade straight past his fingers and out of his hand. He could lose grip. That is dangerous. Also, it means that when he shifts into striking, you have to shift his grip quite drastically having to grab over one of his hands, slipping his hand and grabbing the bottom to gain the right grip. That's just not good and that's an excess amount of work that adds no benefit. But it's a good thing he raised it above his head because that is how you block it. Just his grip is wrong. Now here, Ray is practicing a fight against three staff wielders. First, she raised her block way too early. That would give it away, but that's not too big of a problem in a movie. You have to have some telegraphing, as the, fa uh, the fans and moviegoers need some time to see what is going on. But what do I see here? Are all three staff wielders striking for the exact same point? <sighs> This just cannot do. If all strike for the same point, they will all be blocked with one block. Add on, they could block each other from even striking the target, even if the target didn't block, as the blades will cross. I hate seeing this in films and in fan shows and any attempt someone showing sword play or staff play or any type of combat, as it makes no sense and this in my opinion, kind of dorky. It would be better to have one strike from above and the other one going for a thrust and the other going for the side. And how you defeat that is, well in this case, Ray would back up, go off to the side, block one of their attacks, and because she's a Jedi, she could use a force push to push the other two back. Or she could just keep on back and maybe do a flip back to gain distance away from them. When fighting a group, you want to fight each one on one by separating them, by giving yourself distance. Also, when we see she makes the block, 
showing one hand on the saber and the other hand's drooping forward. First of all, the other hand's in clear position to be cut off, which is very bad. It should be behind your back if you use one hand. But she has a two-handed weapon. And if you're blocking multiple blows or a strong blow, you want as much strength as you can get. And with a two-handed weapon, you would want both hands on the weapon to provide the block. And we know she knows how to do these blocks properly with two hands. We saw it in The Force Awakens. When she was blocking Kylo's blow, she clearly uses it. And even at the end of this, behind the scenes, we see her raise the blade above her head correctly in this type of block, but on the other side. They just need to have her do that and switch up the attacks so they're not all attacking from the same position. Now, I'm not saying this is bad. The movie can still be great, even with these errors, but I hope they fix them. And now, yes, Star Wars has not been perfect with depicting swordplay, but it was better at one point. The original trilogy took much of its swordplay from Kido, which is not perfect swordplay, but it is a sportsized kinjutsu, which is the samurai combat style with swords. And we can even see this in the original trilogy. Now I'm more well versed with Hima, which is the European sword play, but Kinjitsu and Hima and Kido have many similarities, so I'll show you some things from Star Wars Episode 6. As you can see, in this picture, Luke is holding the blade mostly correctly, to block a strike from above from Vader, though he should be held, holding it more level with the floor. And we can see him do the same thing in this clip, though once again it needs to be more level. Over here we can see a nice strong block with straight arms to block a side blow, and over here to block a blow from beneath. And over here, they even, after the block, walk a little bit with the blades, making sure that one cannot strike around easily. And that was quite good, though, because of equipment, they couldn't do it too fast. And also, Vader's armor greatly restricts movements, so his movements with his arms cannot be as fluid and cannot be full and extended to height. But overall, this is just things I noticed that I hope they will improve upon and change to make the lightsaber combat more realistic, believable, and even more action-packed as they can make it quicker and more fluid with proper grips and proper stances. And these are my thoughts. Aramena out.